Maxine Davison was 51. She'd recently survived cancer. But last night her life would be taken by her own son. He shot her dead before robbing another mother of her young daughter. Sophie Martin was three years old. She'd been adopted and died alongside her dad, Lee. A yellow tent tells you where, but not yet why, the victims were chosen in this suburb of Plymouth. What can explain the motives of the man you're about to see for the first time midway through his attack? Here's Jake Davison in the top left corner of this CCTV footage. Now watch as he coolly crosses the road. A shotgun in his hand. We believe by this moment he'd already aimed it at several of his victims. Mostly letting luck decide which lives he took and which lives he traumatised. A couple of the gunshots went off and I ran opposite a pub and the owner came out and he, he, he shouted at me, he just went, get in here, get in here now. And so I forward rolled into the pub and um, I literally clung underneath one of the pool tables, hung on for dear life and I froze. Um, he locked the door and he closed the windows. And my mum um, sent me a message saying, um, hide, um, stay safe, stay down. Um, lock yourself away. Outside, 22-year-old Jake Davison was targeting others, seemingly at random. Police were first alerted to gunfire at 11 minutes past six last night in the Keyham area of Plymouth. It had begun at a house on Biddick Drive, where Davison's first victim was his mother, Maxine. He then left the house and took his gun onto the street, where his second victim would be his youngest, killing Sophie and her dad, Lee. Moving further along Biddick Drive, he shot and injured two other adults before turning into a park where he killed 59-year-old Stephen Washington and then onto Henderson Place where he shot 66-year-old Kate Shepherd, who died in hospital. The sixth life taken was Davison's own. Twelve minutes after police were first called, his killing here was over. Officers didn't have to fire a single shot. He turned his gun on himself. Today, police were left investigating the worst shooting in Britain since 2010. We believe we have an incident that is domestically related that has spilled into the street and seen several people within Plymouth losing their lives in an extraordinarily tragic circumstance. Do you know if the gunman had a licence for his weapon? We can confirm that Mr Davidson is a firearms licence holder. I'm unable to confirm whether that was the firearm that was used. But tonight it's emerged that licence was taken off Davison last September after he was accused of assault. The police watchdogs now investigating why officers gave his shotgun back just last month. You know, love is for the young. At the same time, he was posting rambling videos like this one. He appears to identify with a sexist internet subculture, men who call themselves incels or involuntary celibates. Nothing's changed. Look, I'm still in the same position, same period in life. Still a f***ing this, that, virgin, f***ing fat, ugly, whatever you want to call it. What's changed? Those kind of thoughts have been linked to violence before, raising further concerns about why he ever had a weapon. Clearly, I will be asking questions, um, definitely in terms of local policing and raising this with the Chief Council. But tonight, the main puzzle for police, why would this gunman kill his own mother and take the lives of others he may not have known at all? Paul Brand, News at 10, Plymouth.